If you've ever walked through a misty bog or peeked beneath the dense canopy of a Southeast Asian jungle, you might have glimpsed one of the plant world's most mind-blowing inventions, the pitcher plant. This isn't your average leafy green. Nah, this is nature's own carnivorous trap, designed to lure, capture, and digest unsuspecting prey. And it does it with style. Let me take you inside the secret world of the pitcher plant. These guys come mostly from two families, Nepenthesi and Saraceniaci. You might know them as Nepenthes, those wild hanging cups from Southeast Asia, or Saracenia, the upright tubes of North American bogs. Their secret weapon, leaves that are anything but ordinary. Over millions of years, these leaves have morphed into pitchers. Think of them as deadly vases filled with digestive soup. Here's how the magic happens. First, the plant puts on a show. Bright colors, sweet irresistible nectar right at the rim or peristome. Bugs come in for a taste, but the peristome is slick, sometimes even slimier when it rains. One wrong step and, whoops, down they go into the trap. And escaping? Pretty much impossible. Some pitchers have walls lined with downward pointing hairs or a waxy surface making the climb out a total nightmare for trapped insects. Once preys inside, digestive fluids kick in. Enzymes break down soft tissues releasing the precious nutrients the plant is after, mainly nitrogen and phosphorus. In some of the biggest species like Nepenthes raja, these pitchers are so huge they can snare not just bugs but even small rodents or birds. I mean how's that for dinner and a show? But pitcher plants aren't just cold-blooded killers, they're also ecosystem engineers. Their pitchers create tiny aquatic worlds, phytotelmata, hosting bacteria, protozoa and even special mosquito larvae that can survive the digestive stew. Some Nepenthes make deals with animals like ants, bats or tree shrews, offering them a safe spot or a sweet treat in exchange for some nutrient-rich droppings right into the pitcher. It's a wild win-win situation that shows just how creative nature can get. Where do these fascinating plants live? Usually in places most greens can't handle, bogs, swamps, sandy or acidic soils where nutrients are scarce. By going carnivorous, pitcher plants sidestep the competition. Instead of fighting for what's left in the dirt, they get their fix from the air, literally. And by snacking on flies, beetles and even mosquitoes they help keep pest populations in check, quietly supporting the whole ecosystem. But here comes the not-so-fun part. Pitcher plants are under threat, big time. Habitat destruction, climate change, and illegal collection are whittling down their numbers. Some, like Nepenthes raja, are critically endangered with only a handful left in the wild. Wetlands are being drained, forests are being cleared, and wild specimens are scooped up for collectors. Conservationists are fighting to save them, protecting habitats, growing them in botanical gardens, and spreading the word so enthusiasts buy only nursery-grown plants. And let's be honest, pitcher plants have always fired up our imagination. They've popped up in folklore, art, and even Victorian-era greenhouses as living curiosities. Scientists love them too for the window they offer into evolution, symbiosis, and adaptation. Their digestive chemistry might even inspire future breakthroughs in pest control or medicine. So next time you're wandering through a bog or scrolling past a photo of a crazy vase-shaped leaf, spare a thought for the pitcher plant. It's proof that nature never stops innovating. In life's harshest corners, it finds a way not just to survive, but to absolutely thrive. And if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is.